Welcome back to Believe in Your Story, where I share some of the writing challenges I faced and how I've dealt with them. In this video, I'm going to highlight five applications that are integral to my writing and publishing workflow. I'm going to share what each app does and why I like them. You'll find timestamps in the comments below if you want to skip ahead. I believe in these products enough that I actually requested to be an affiliate for four of them, and you'll find those links in the description below. This is my current workflow, and hopefully it will help you with yours. Things. I've used a few task management applications, well, more than a few. There's nothing that bothers me more than trying a new productivity app and getting loads of emails and alerts and notifications telling me to buy more or work faster, that's not helpful. It's stressful. I also don't want to learn a complex new application that tries to tell me how to remap my universe. I want simple, clean, and integrated. I also want to set the pace. Welcome to Things for Mac and iOS. Great for simple to do checklists and more. I do a lot more than just writing books in my free time. I blog, make YouTube videos, manage advertising, I separate each of those into areas. Within each area, I have projects like this YouTube video or my upcoming vacations this summer. I put my to-do lists in those projects. I've even created templates for those projects and duplicated them every time I need a new one. I can set deadlines, but more often I leave them open-ended. It's nice to be able to choose between the two options. Things is a buy once app, which I like a lot more than having a monthly fee. The iPhone, iPad, and Mac OS versions all sync, but you do have to purchase them separately. Evernote. Evernote is a cross-platform note-taking app. That means it runs on Windows, Android, Mac OS, iPhones and iPads, and even Linux, sort of. It's free, but also has a paid subscription with more features. I tend to have more ideas than I have time. And sometimes those ideas spill out at the worst moments, like when I'm walking my dog. That's when I stop and make a note in the Evernote app on my phone. I can then access it on my Mac or Windows computer when I'm ready to take the idea further. One cool feature I find myself using a lot lately is their web clipper. It's been around for a while, and I don't know why I didn't use it sooner. When you're doing research on the web and finally find that article you need, what do you do with it? You can save it as a favorite in your browser, which means every time you need to refer to it, you have to open your browser, find the link, and then open the page, wait for the ads to load. You, you know what I'm talking about. For me, it makes a lot more sense to store this data where I keep my other notes. Even better, you can grab a paragraph or a sentence to save on that website. And when Clipper saves the article, it also saves the URL. That way you've got it handy if you need to link back and credit the author. The free tier is excellent. The paid tier is even better. I like this app a lot. Hey, if you like this content, please hit the thumbs up below to support my channel. Plotter. I just started using Plotter and I'm already in love. I wanted a tool for plotting. That's it, nothing more. Plotter is all about helping you create a solid outline and it excels at that. Plotter has a simple drag and drop interface that allows you to move chapters around and you can view it horizontally or vertically. I need this. My books always have multiple plot lines and if you want everything to fall apart at the same time, because <laughs> I love torturing my characters, timing is everything. Plotter provides exceptional tutorials, both online and live. I participated in an author-led class that showed all the nuances. The app isn't complex, but the attention to detail is nice, and they are really making an effort. Plotter also provides guided outlines based on popular plots. Oh, and it's cross-platform. I use it on Windows and Mac and store my data on iCloud. It's also available on iOS and Android, and they're working on a Linux version, which warms my heart. The annual license is a steal. 
There's also a lifetime option, which I didn't hesitate to purchase. Click the link below to give it a try. Best of all, you can export your outline to one of my favorite apps, Scrivener. Scrivener is where I actually write my books. It's a word processor and 10,000 other things. There's a learning curve, but it's worth learning. I use a small slice of Scrivener's abilities to write chapters. The chapters are basically folders, and you can view them as note cards and move the note cards around as needed. Like I mentioned with Plotter, this is invaluable for timing. If you have a story that has multiple things going on at the same time and need to shift things around so it all comes together, this is your jam. It's important to be able to do this here as well as Plotter because things might change and once I'm done outlining, I rarely go back. One of my favorite Scrivener features is composition mode. If I'm in the zone, I can write anything, anywhere. If I'm not, it's easy to get distracted by, well, anything. Composition mode hides all of that and forces me to stay focused. Thanks, Scrivener. Scrivener is also great for creating eBooks. While I don't use it for the final version, it's easy peasy to export a handful of chapters to share with my alpha team in any format. Scrivener is available for Mac, iOS, and Windows, and it's easy to hop between all three with the same project. I should also mention they've got a great 30-day trial, and it's not 30 days like at the end of the month you're done, it's 30 days of use. So if you skip every other day, then you're using it for 60 days. Pretty cool. Vellum. Man, am I old school. I used to manually create eBooks. I made each chapter its own XML page, added all the bold and italics by hand. It was a chore and often took a whole weekend. When I found Vellum, I celebrated like a college kid that first week of school. Watch this magic. Here's a docx file for entries online. Open it up in Vellum and bam, you have a book. It's that fast and does an exceptional job of finding chapters. You have the option to select from some pretty cool pre-made templates. I usually spend an hour adding images, checking breaks, and making sure it's what I want. It's always what I want when I'm done. Part of the reason for publishing books myself is I want full control from beginning to end. Sure, I could hand this off to someone and hope they don't leave out a chapter. When I use Vellum, I know my book is going to be exactly the way I want it. Vellum generates ebooks ready to upload for Amazon, Apple, Barnes & Noble, Google Play, and Kobo. There's an add-on you can purchase to create print-ready PDFs that I use for Amazon's KDP and Ingram Spark. They've never been rejected for poor formatting. I formatted all eight of my books with Vellum. It has paid for itself with peace of mind alone. Vellum is only available for the Mac operating system. I'd love to hear what tools you use. Please share in the comments below. I hope this helps with your writing journey. Now, go write your book and believe in your story. Thank you. Oh, she's just licking the out of my leg. Yeah, I love you. Just wait. Welcome back to Believe in Your Story, where I've taught... This is the most distracting thing with her licking the hell out of my feet. I, I don't know if I could be able to shoot this video. Are you done? Apparently not.